Hey everybody, it's Brian. I am here showing you how to set up your term weights in PowerSchool. So we've already got the other video linked that shows you how to do your category weights. But for term weights, it's a little bit different. I'm going to go into settings and do traditional grade calculations. And when you go there, you can see all the terms listed for semester one, grading period one, final one, semester two, G2, and F2. Yours will say um, on each of these, a grade calculation has not been configured. So it's using the default. Um, I've already been playing around with this. Uh, that's why mine isn't here. But under semester one, this is where we need to set our term weights. And I can go to total points for semester one and hit the pen, the edit button. And it defaults to total points. You just need to change this to uh, term weighting. And it will find the terms. So it defaults to grading period one, hit the plus button. And then we do term weighting again, and it grabs F1. And then this is where we put your 85 and 15. And then hit save. So now semester one will be weighted based on the terms. And then within grading period one, if you have your categories, this is where you would do your category, another place you could do your category weights. So I would change this to category weighting, grab classwork, and let's say I've got another category for my projects and another category for my quizzes, and I can make these whatever. So we'll say this is 20 and uh, 20, oops, not 120, so that's 40%, so that makes this a 60%. Um, so now I've got my grading period one set up, and I always leave my final one as total points, just whatever out of the points for the test. Same thing for semester two. You can come in and change this to term weighting. So we've got this term weighting, and then G2, add your term weight for F2. Again, 85 and 15, and you're all set. So that's how you do your term weights in PowerSchool. Make sure those are done as well.